Hello everyone, back to tuning in to today's second video, doing the USA Excel forecast for today's second video. So as well as on a Wednesday, we're having a look at the weather for the next six weeks in the United States. And I shall get on that for you uh, very shortly, just to say that first video today was our 6am UK weather forecast. And uh, we've also got 10 to 14 there coming up later on today as well. Uh, but there'll be a little added extra also today, which is going to be looking at the JMA season model. So that one will also be coming up for you after this video and before the 10 to 14 there. Um, it's all to come, it's all to be uh, revealed and all to play for. I shall get on with it for you in a moment. Just say that if you're enjoying videos on my channel at the moment, please you like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much everybody for uh, doing that. Right, we're going to start off with the situation across uh, North America for this week. We've got high pressure above average heights. We're going to be sitting across much of Canada and into northern northwest America this week with a trough of low pressure into the south and to the southeast. This is taking us through the week of the 22nd, 29th of May, by the way. The temperature anomaly uh, this week showing northwest southeast split, so it's a warm and average week across the north and northwest part of America. It's a cooler than average week in the southern, eastern, and southeastern parts of America, especially in the southeastern corner close to the uh, east coast. So warm in the northwest, cool in the southeast, and precipitation looks like that. A lot of variation, actually, very wet, exceptionally wet in this far southeastern corner, and usually Florida up into Georgia, for example. And along the Carolina coast, very wet uh, through there. Very, really dry, actually, from any eastern and midwestern parts of America. In the southwest, it looks dry, though. Texas looks a little bit wet. And then uh, up towards uh, California, it looks a little bit wetter in land, dry towards the coast, and then wetter again as we go up towards the Canadian border. Lots of regional variation. Week two will be the 29th of May to the 5th of June. And uh, again, we see that we've got the above average height sitting across northern parts of America, lower pressure out to the Pacific West Coast and also in the southern and southeastern corner once more. Temperatures look like that. North-South split this time. The northern states generally warmer or hotter than average. The southern states coming out cooler than average. Remember, those are anomalies to average. So, like Texas and back and towards uh, Nevada, for example, California, Arizona. It will still be very warm or a heartbeat. Our anomalies to average. So, if it's like a couple of degrees below average, it's still going to be pretty hot. And precipitation-wise, we look like that next week. And many Midwestern and Eastern parts of America are coming out dry and it's a little bit wetter out towards the west. Right, week three is going to be the 5th to the 12th of June. And uh, once again, we've got below average heights into western and southwestern states and also in the southeast, high pressure above average heights up to the north. Precipitation, or temperature I should say, generally quite warm away from the southwest anyway, where it's cooler. The southwestern coast is cooler elsewhere. Many northern, central, eastern, midwestern, and northeastern parts of America are coming out with above our temperature. The far, the far southeast corner, though, does look a little bit on the cooler side. And um, uh, east west split for precipitation, so wetter than average from the Rockies back to the Pacific coast, and then drier than average from the uh, Rockies through to the uh, eastern seaboard to the Atlantic coast, the east coast there, uh, largely drier than normal. Week four will be the chart to the 19th of June, the high pressure retreating up towards Canada maybe, otherwise not much of a signal for the 500 millibar height anomaly, temperature anomaly, again looks a little bit on the cooler side, through these west and southwestern regions, largely on the warmer side in the north and in the east. And precipitation looks like that. So a bit on the wet side towards the west coast, otherwise no signal, but maybe dry in the far north and also in the far south and southwest. Week 5 will be the 19th, 26th of June. Nothing useful there from the 500 millibar heights. How are the temperatures looking Large on the warm side for many central, southern and eastern regions could still be a little bit cooler out toward the west. But it looks like most parts of the states are getting hotter uh, by the time we get through to the second half of June. And precipitation looks a bit wet down in the south, maybe in the east and northeast and in the northwest as well. And then lastly, week six will be the 26th of June to 3rd of July. Again, not much here. Some lower pressure just there, but basically there's no signal. 
temperatures look like that. So um, a bit on the cooler than average side of the far west, otherwise most areas coming out warmer or hotter than average. And precipitation, lastly, is drier than average in the south and in the southwest, and it's wetter than average in the north and in the northeast. Right, that's it for the USA forecast. This week we do it all over again. Uh, next Wednesday, you can find this video forecasting informative, useful, and please like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thanks so much to him out. We'll be back shortly with the JMA seasonal update and the 10 to 14 day or two. For this uh, senior USA forecast, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.